What's up guys, it's DPX. Welcome to another episode of Reading Comments, the show where I look at comments of a particular video or just comments in general and read them and, you know, maybe I agree with them, maybe I don't. Uh, and uh, sometimes they're just funny, I just want to show them. Sometimes they're cool, I just want to show them, yeah, 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 it's like basically any other video series from any other YouTube channel where they read comments of theirs. So, a while ago, I made a list, top 10 characters, not for Smash Ultimate DLC. This was a, you know, sort of flip side of a list I made a few months before that, top 10 characters for Smash Ultimate DLC. Now, that one's outdated, but if you want to check that out, go ahead. Uh, this one that the video is about is not as outdated, though, I mean, in the way that I regret a few things that I said in there, I guess you can say it's outdated in that sense. But anyways, let's get started. And, yeah, we're going to start off by uh, this. Toho is one of the most popular series in Japan, and the most popular series in China. It's so popular in China that scientists named a flower after Reimu. With the Nintendo Switch coming out in China soon, it is very likely that Nintendo would want to capitalize on that and include Reimu in Toho Smash has to six fighting copies. games, which and while opens up Toho a ton isn't of moves popular in the West, for, it still Reimu. has a she very influential also grip on the has internet. a lot of personality I can thanks that to you've official mangas as written by Bad Zun, Apple the creator of and Toho. Un. Dragon oh, Quest was a series that had very little It's responsible in to inspire outside of Fox Japan, Japan country, and yet, alongside in order to make it in Smash, she felt she was a Japanese I would also like to point out that that's the time the Yashians for the whole series that is only popular would be in this hand made it their part of to get in Smash. Also, Zun, Toho, is has well been known for his in America lax in copyright the Nintendo laws Switch. about Toho. Sure, it's allowing fans to not make as popular and sell as it is in Japan, games, but the as popularity long as in he's States. credited. Equals Zun slash equals also chances well, wants in Smash. Toho in Smash also, too. It's so he clear to me you don't know anything about Toho and its history. Including Reimu in the game. I may for not next be to a Toho the fan, but here's a little that's history lesson. Reimu blah, back blah, blah, blah. Is the fact that she's indie, but even then, that's not much. Ah, uh, yes. One thing that just about everyone and their mother that watched this video called me out on. The Toho shit. Yep. If there is anything about the video I can go back and change, it's probably the Reimu part. I, I didn't mean for it to sound like I'm saying she's too Japanese to be in Smash, but I'm sure it, it, no, it sure did come across that way. Um, I guess, retrospectively, looking back at it, the real reason she's on the list is because I have no attachment to that series, and it just doesn't, it would just seem strange to me if she was in. So, I guess I, I guess I went for my subjective or no, my uh, objective reasoning instead of my subjective reasoning, and I don't really know why. Um, but it it was between either her and Spyro the Dragon, and I really love Spyro the Dragon. He's a little, little cute little dragon. I don't, and I don't really want to say anything negative about him. So, Raymu got number ten. No sore for Smash Bros. Not, why did I even feature this comment? Let's move on. Uh, I really dreaded doing this one. I almost didn't make this video because this was the only one I wanted to rip into. But this dude basically types me an entire, like, essay. Trying to counter every one of my entries. And he... Reimu, when he said something about Reimu, that was with all the others. So I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about all of them either. And talk about the ones I have issues with. So, Rex and Pyra, don't use the anime swordsman excuse. That's nothing more than shallow criticism. When did I use that? I mentioned anime swordsman, but I said, I'm not sure if people will be upset because it's an anime swordsman, but regardless, I don't want Rex and Pyra in. I don't know, let's replay and see what I said. But what if there were to be another anime swordsman? 
like not from Fire Emblem, but just another one. A dark side of me kind of wants to see Rex in Smash, because I'm not sure how everyone would react. Like, will they be happy because it's Xenoblade 2 and everyone seems to love that game? Or will they be upset because it's another anime swordsman? But I can't see Rex getting in Smash. I, how did I... Like, I mentioned anime swordsman, maybe... At first glance, you can take that as, like, an excuse, but if that's true, it's clear to me that you only watch this video once to make this paragraph and call me out on something I didn't even do. Also, seeing how Rex being a me fighter was controversial back when it was announced, I'm pretty sure people would be happy to see Rex and Pirate, and I didn't say they weren't. Well, what are you talking about? Also, I don't really remember there being controversy. Like, if we're talking that was controversial, I guess it was just as controversial as when Shadow was a, an assist trophy, or Isaac was an assist trophy, or the fucking Grinch leak was incorrect. Not, not, not much really, no one was even really speculating that Rex was going to be a character, at least on the base roster. Acknowledges that me costume does not mean much yet claims yet still claims that it does mean that rex's chances aren't good and doesn't explain why roll the clip he's already a me costume and i know you're probably saying that me costumes shouldn't mean anything and you're right they shouldn't but i'm afraid they do like it's clear to me you don't understand what i said there um which is fine i thought i was pretty self-explanatory but i guess i wasn't even though other people seem to understand it, but what I mean there is I don't agree with the fact that me fighters should deconfirm characters. Like, I think fucking Springman, or that's not a good example, he's an assist trophy. I think Ribbon Girl should have a good chance of being in Smash, despite being a me costume, but he's a me costume, so I think they might pick another ARMS character. That's what I think. I think it's dumb, but that's the reality. I can only make assumptions here as there is literally nothing I can argue here. But instead of making assumptions, I'll just explain why using the Me Fighter the Me costume doesn't work. King K. Rule is a fighter in Smash and his costume is still in the game. Well, that's because his costume was introduced in a previous one, and now he's in the game. But they didn't remove the costume, and I think that's pretty dumb that they have costumes of characters that are playable. It seems a little counterintuitive, but that's beyond the point. I know that's not the strongest argument, but it's still something to keep in mind, as Sakurai has broken many fan rules over the years. Who's to say he won't break the fan rule that me costume fighters can't be promoted? Uh, well, first of all, yeah, you're right, that's not a good example at all. Um, also, you do make a good point about he, how he could break that fan rule. You know, it's not an official rule, kind of like how spirits deconfirming characters is not an official rule at all so yeah he could very well that could very well just not be a rule but we haven't seen it broken yet so i can only assume says so something about tales uh, about paper mario sword and shield we already got a new pokemon with incineroar stop don't make those sorts of arguments as those are nothing more than assumptions so i'm assuming we got incineroar look 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 so i can see how this could be confusing as this list was both objective and subjective both characters i want or uh, rather characters i don't want and characters i don't think i made this clear that a pokemon sword and shield character out of every character on the list is probably the most likely character that I want, or the most likely character on the list that will happen, but I just don't want that character. This guy seemed to ignore that. Who's to say we won't get another Pokemon rep in the DLC? After all, Mewtwo was DLC in Smash for Wii U 
and 3DS when Greninja was the newest Pokemon in the roster. At the point, Mewtwo was a veteran, but that doesn't change the idea that po a Pokemon character can't be added into Smash through DLC. But, and I just don't want another Pokemon, that's all. Blah 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 blah, and the most popular Pokemon in the game doesn't matter. Well, why are you bringing that up? That was just a simple little thing I said. What? Why are you? What? I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna hang on that one. Master Chief. There's rumors of Master Chief Collection coming to Switch. That's all I'll say. And those are just rumors. But then he edits because he decides not to be done with this. It took my. I think he meant to say me. A few days to realize this. But your argument for Master Chief is that he has no history with Nintendo consoles. Only for you to acknowledge that other characters like Cloud and Joker has little to do, little history with Nintendo. But because their games later came to the Switch, that's okay. But you're not being, you're not betting Master Chief because even though you acknowledge that having little to do with Nintendo history isn't a big deal, he can't get in be because he has no games on Switch at the moment. Sometimes I wonder why countdown videos like these exist. Alright, buddy. You seem to miss the point of what I was saying there. I said that Cloud, Joker, and Snake, you know, they all... I believe they all appeared on, like, Nintendo at least, like, once before being in Smash. Like, Cloud appeared in, like, a few Kingdom Hearts games on the DS. Snake, I believe... Snake had, like, Twin Snakes on the GameCube, and Joker, I believe, had, like, a Persona spinoff or some shit on the 3DS. Also, that, w that wasn't the only point I made against Master Chief. I said that Banjo, you know, I'm surprised he didn't bring up Banjo, but Banjo's in the game because, you know, he's not the m mascot of a rival company. So, I don't know. This dude... And then he says, I, sometimes I wonder why countdown videos like these exist. Because I want to make a countdown video. Is that a problem? Sora, he goes off on me about Sora, and then he starts insulting the video. And I don't want to read the part about Sora, just because there's so much about it. All I want to say there is that he uses the excuse, or he tries to you know, argue with the fact that I said it'll be weird without Donald and Goofy. Um, and, look, I didn't say they can't do Sora without Donald and Goofy. I just said it'll be weird. It would be strange without Donald and Goofy, because those are, like, big parts or big friends of his. Doesn't really say anything about Waluigi. Fortnite. So you hate Fortnite. Okay, gotcha. Doesn't matter if it makes into Smash or not. Yes, it does. And then he goes off uh, on a conclusion of my videos saying that I'm being racist about... No, no, I'm not. I've spent too much time on this guy. Uh, and I replied to him, which I deleted because it was kind of dumb, but we're not going to get into that because that's unnecessary, which is why I deleted it. So, like, if you... The moral of the story is, if you're going to leave me a giant essay, at least listen to the video. Like, actually listen to what I'm saying. So next up, see, we're going to go back to uh, the Master Chief argument because I was saying like he has no history with Nintendo at all when Cloud, Joker, and Snake do. But uh, this guy, you see, I appreciate this. He comments, Master Chief has a cameo on the Switch, actually. I go, really? I didn't... That. Man, I'm bad at this, too. What game? And he responds to me, he is present on Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition and the Bedrock version, complete with a f with a few Halo skin packs and a Halo-themed world to play. And he goes into the rumors about Master Chief Collection on the Switch, which I said, until that's proven true, I'm not going to use that as an argument for whether or not Master Chief should be in. And I go... Okay, alright, I stand corrected.
Because I do. Moving on. Assist trophies don't deconfirm characters because Isabel was an assist trophy. But Isabel was an assist trophy in a different Smash game. To that, I get no response. Ho's just mad because of his actual intelligence. Like, for real. Besides Reimu, I have the same ideal. I'm sorry, what? First of all, uh, one day ago, you... You... Almost did not make the video. Uh, second of all, I wasn't quite sure at all what this was trying to say at first. And then, I read more into this. Is he calling me... Like, is he saying, like, I'm super intelligent? Thanks. You're also calling everyone in the comment section a hoe. So, I mean, that ain't really too good. There's nothing wrong with this one. Just listing characters they wouldn't want to see in Smash. Some of them I actually don't quite agree with. But nothing wrong with this. You could pause it and read it if you want. Okay, the person who wrote me the essay is back, kind of. First, we got this dude... Don't let Sora in Smash. He will open door for meme fighters like Shrek or Spongebob. Which I just want to say, that's not true. Sora is a video game character. He's just owned by Disney. And he's just friends with Donald and Goofy. Who aren't even meme characters. This guy decides to do my job for me, I guess. Thanks. I guess you redeemed yourself. Alright, next up is this guy. Who I actually already... Featured at the beginning of the video with all the Raymu comments. So, uh, but the same essay dude, uh, he, he responded to him as well, uh, saying, Isn't the Nintendo Switch already out in China? Uh, this guy, he brought up the fact that Nintendo Switch is coming out in China, but I digress. You're absolutely right about everything else. Don't get me wrong, DPX Solo isn't in the wrong if he doesn't want Toho character in Smash due to not knowing much about the series, which is probably something I should have specified, yes. He's free to that opinion. My major problem with his arguments on Reimu is that he thinks that a character who is popular in Japan shouldn't be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, a Japanese-developed game. And ignoring that the hero from Dragon Quest is no different from, R from Reimu as well, and yet they're in Smash, so his logic is pretty backwards if you ask me. It's clear that he doesn't know anything about Toho, and that's fine, but you sh really shouldn't underestimate to Toho's appeal either. Yeah, way to, way to keep burying me like that. Way to, way to dig up my grave for me, you know? Whatever. You know, I... Again, if there's anything I can change about the video, it's the Reimu thing. I probably didn't word it the best. I made it sound like... She's only popular in Japan, so I can't, we can't have her in. I brought up Marth and Roy because, yeah, they're from Nintendo, so it makes more sense. And Dragon Quest, like, I knew about Dragon Quest, and I'm sure everyone knew about Dragon Quest before they were in S Smash, but it's more popular in Japan, but it's not a strong argu argument, so I'm not going to defend it really well. And then this dude replies, yeah, I agree. I would love to teach him what Toho is so that he can get more familiar with the series and understand why it's loved, and maybe get him into it. Ah, you're gonna, you're gonna try to get me into it, are you? Alright, uh, maybe after all this social distancing is done, uh, we can schedule a hangout. Uh, come to my house. My address is...